Zappo angry over bit license, Cefalo makes a wallet with a news feed, and BitPay set to disrupt. Today is Friday, September 5th, 2014, and the price of Bitcoin is hanging at around $479. I'm Stephen Chun, and here's what's happening today in money and tech. Bitcoin wallet and storage provider Zappo recently announced their plans to exclude the entire state of New York from their service area in the event of the New York Department of Financial Services bit license proposal being signed into state law. In a post on the company's blog, CEO Wences Ciceris says, New York's proposed bit license in its current form is the wrong form of regulation and in fact poses a threat to New York and New York consumers. We believe at this early stage in Bitcoin's history, investing the time needed to arrive at the right regulation is time well spent. Cesaris outlines what he feels the right kind of regulation for Bitcoin would be, but refers to the bit license proposal as overregulation, stating overregulation hinders progress and serves as anti-competitive function where only the well-capitalized survive adding that the provision of services simply will not be up to standards that we aim to provide, and New York consumers will suffer the consequences. Cesaris concludes his post by saying that Zappo will be submitting comment on the bid license proposal and will share them on their blog when done, and he encourages the rest of the community to submit comments as well. A report Thursday stated that Charlie Schrem had reached a plea bargain with authorities over his association with the now defunct online black market Silk Road, which resulted in his pleading guilty to a lower charge. Today, more information has come to light about the details of the aforementioned plea bargain struck by Schrem and his associate Robert Faye. Both men pleaded guilty to separate offenses, Schrem to aiding and abetting an unlicensed money transmitting business and Faya to operating such a business. Both men face up to five years in jail and are due back in court in January. It has also been revealed that both men have agreed to forfeit $950,000 to the government. Pre Pereira, U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, released a statement stating Robert Faya and Charlie Schrem opted to travel down a crooked path, running an illegal money transmitting business that catered to criminals bent on trafficking narcotics on the dark web drug site Silk Road. Sweden-based Bitcoin services company Cefalo is allowing users to request invitations to its newly launched Bitcoin wallet service. The announcement was made during a panel session at the Stockholm Tech Fest, a Sweden-based conference featuring the biggest names in the payment world. Cefalo CEO Frank Schul says, we anticipate to let users in during this month or next month. Users can easily search for friends using the wallet, and all transactions can be viewed in a timeline similar to that of Facebook and Twitter that social media enthusiasts have grown accustomed to. If verified accounts are used, Bitcoin addresses will be replaced with usernames, photos, and comments. Cefalo is also aiming to remove any of the common technological issues many have experienced with Bitcoin wallets, branding their products as so easy that even your mom could use it. Whole Foods Market announced on Tuesday that shoppers and digital currency enthusiasts can now purchase gift cards to the store via eGifter, an online gift card purchasing vendor that allows customers to purchase gift cards in a number of ways, Bitcoin being one of them. Consumers can buy in denominations between $5 and $500 and can purchase the cards for themselves or their friends. Whole Foods is now the latest business to join a growing list of stores that utilize the e-gifter service including Lowe's, Sports Authority, and Zapples.com. Users can even buy gift cards for other purposes such as eating out at restaurants like Domino's Pizza and TGI Fridays. Business facilitator and mobile services company Alternate Systems Inc announced a new strategic partnership with BitPay, one of the world's leaders in solutions for digital currencies. Together, the two companies will launch a new global payment processing business. Alternate CEO Henrik Dabrowski explains, our strategic agreement with BitPay will allow us to initiate our sales process with several potential clients in Latin America and the Asia Pacific region. We believe that our backlog of opportunities will continue to grow globally and we will generate our first revenues from this business in the fourth quarter of 2014. The agreement allows Alternate to both sell and support BitPay platforms to its own customer base, and both companies are hoping that disruptive payment technologies will be key to both of them. Tony Galipi, co-founder and executive chairman of BitPay states, 
When alternates experience and a network that spans many countries that contain leading mobile operations, financial services providers and banks, we believe APS will rapidly deploy BitPay's solution in these markets. This weekend, Pier 48 in San Francisco will play host to the TechCrunch Disrupt Hackathon 2014, recently made famous when it was recreated on HBO's new comedy, Silicon Valley. And leading Bitcoin payments provider BitPay has announced that they will be in attendance with their engineering team and offering support to any teams using BitCore, BitAuth, or BitPay's merchant API. BitPay will also be offering a three Bitcoin reward for the team with the best use of the Bitcoin protocol. Tickets for the 24-hour hackathon were free but are currently sold out. Hopefully, you got yours in advance. And the Inside Bitcoins Conference and Expo will be back in Las Vegas next month, taking place October 5th through the 7th at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino. The event will be attended by numerous Bitcoin companies and industry experts. As the event's website boasts, whether you're a venture capitalist, lawyer, technologist, entrepreneur, regulator, cryptographer, payment pioneer, or public policy expert, our agenda offers the latest intelligence for everyone and anyone interested in learning more about Bitcoin. Registration is now open and tickets are on sale. In fact, they are discounted as part of an early bird special if bought before September 10th. As always, find more information on today's news stories at moneyintech.com. I'm Stephen Chun, and thanks for watching Money in Tech's Daily News Update.